Let's not talk about SAP Smart Data Integration, simply SDI. SDI is a powerful tool that enables organizations to access and integrate data from various sources. With this solution, users can easily connect to different data sources such as databases, cloud storage and web services and transform and merge the data for analysis and reporting. One of the key benefits of SAP SDI its ability to automate data integration process. This helps to eliminate manual processes, reduce errors and improve data quality. In addition, the solution provides real-time access to data, enabling organizations to make informed decisions faster. SDI supports both inbound and outbound integration and it works with asynchronous mode. What is Smart Data Integration? Smart Data Integration is a solution that enables organizations to access, transform and integrate data from various sources. As you can see in the picture, we can integrate SAP HANA with various data sources like databases, cloud storage and web services. Smart Data Integration also supports batch and real-time replication. This can be used on both cloud and on-premise setup. SDI is designed to work seamlessly with other SAP solutions like SAP Data Services, HCI and SAP Smart Data Access. When to use Smart Data Integration? We can use SDI for below scenarios. For real-time analytics, cloud migration, data warehousing, data quality management, and business intelligence and reporting. Let's now talk about the architecture of Smart Data Integration. SDI has two main components the data provisioning server and the data provisioning agent. Data provisioning server is the core processing engine of the architecture. It performs data integration tasks such as data mapping, data transformation and data enrichment. It is responsible for moving data between the source and the target systems. Data provisioning agent is a lightweight agent that takes care of moving data from data sources to the data provisioning server. Apart from these two components, we have other components like adapters, data services, and web-based administration console. Overall, the components of the architecture of SAP Smart Data Integration work together to provide a flexible, scalable, and efficient solution for integrating and managing data from various sources. Let's now map all the components of Smart Data Integration into different layers. For example, in application layer, we can have DP agent, data services, and job launcher. In integration layer, we could have adapters, data stores, and data services. In data processing layer, we have filtering, aggregation, and enrichment. In the last layer, which is persistence layer, we have databases and file systems. For a better understanding, let's take an example how we can integrate a PostgreSQL into SAP HANA. We need to first install PostgreSQL JDBC driver in your SAP HANA system. In the second step, we need to create a remote source for your PostgreSQL database. Once the connection is successful, we can create a virtual table in your HANA system. Then we have to define the data replication settings of the virtual table. And finally, we have to start the data replication process to replicate the data from PostgreSQL to your HANA system. Let's now have a quick recap quiz. What is the protocol for communication between the DP server and the DP agent? Can you give me an example of real-time adapter in Smart Data Integration? What is the example for patch data adapter for Smart Data Integration? Let me know your answers in the comment section below. If you like the video, Consider giving a like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.